Hi, I'm Brenda Watson, and welcome to my blog. After reading a recent article in USA Today, I have to say that I'm a little outraged at the treatment of a young doctor in Pensacola, Florida recently. Dr. Jason Newman, a former Army doctor who served in Iraq, was recently forced to resign his position as director of the Bay County Health Department. The reason? He came down too hard on donuts. Yes, you heard me right, on donuts. His job at the health department was to educate the public about health issues. Being a health advocate in a county where 39% of the population is overweight or obese, he began posting health warnings on an electronic sign outside his office, such as hamburger equals spare tire and french fries equals thunder thighs. Well, he apparently went too far when he used a Dunkin' Donut slogan that read, America dies on Dunkin', and barring donuts from department meetings and announcing he would throw them away if he saw them in the break room. Little did he know, the county commissioner owns a diner and a donut shop, as well as two prominent local attorneys owned the new Dunkin' Donuts at the beach. After threatening to be sued, his bosses at the Florida Health Department told him he had the choice of being fired or resigning. He chose to resign. So I guess they should have told him on hiring that he can educate the public about health. Just don't say anything bad about fast foods or donuts in particular. Because we got some donut loving people around these parts. And this is what is backwards about this country. Someone in the health department getting forced to resign by trying to get people to cut back on sweets and eat healthier. There are over 10 billion donuts consumed by Americans each year, and it is no secret that a diet high in processed foods like donuts can lead to diabetes, obesity, and other health problems. Maybe they should put some fiber in those donuts, and Dr. Newman would be happy. All I can say is, wake up, America, and thank you, Dr. Newman, for speaking out. See you next time on Brenda's blog.